we transfer around the best two embryos. Huh. So what happens to the remaining? We give an option for the couple. So there is a procedure called embryo freezing that is known as vitrification. Okay. So there are two types. One is slow freezing and the vitrification. So what we follow the most advanced is the vitrification technique where these embryos are kept frozen in cryo tanks. So it has liquid nitrogen. So these embryos, they are frozen and put into the tank and they are saved within straws. So it is labeled and it can be stored for up to a, approximately five years. Five so years. They have got, yeah, in case the patient conceives, she can still store it and plan for her second child with oh. these frozen embryos. Okay. okay? And uh, suppose she does fail to conceive. Hmm. So what we do is next cycle. The, uh, the, the next advantage is, is yeah, she need not take all her injections, ah. come to egg retrieval, Same everything. We, ah, we just need to ah, we just need to prepare her uterus bed. That's how just when identify when it's ready and thaw the embryo. So we remove it from the cryotech, we put mm. it in warming media, culture it probably for a few hours and put it back into a uterine cavity. And this gives equally good success rate. So sometimes patients worry, are frozen embryos, are they good? Uh. So we are getting very good success rate with frozen embryos. And okay. uh, in fact, yeah, nowadays we are growing towards frozen cycles where we are little apprehensive about fresh cycles where frozen cycles are giving us better success rate. Uh, okay. In fact, there's other thing called seven freezing. So this also is an added advantage where suppose the couple are staying away from each other and they want to plan. Okay. Uh, the husband is abroad or he's not available during the right time for her. So he can always leave his cement frozen. So okay. these, these samples also can be frozen up to 5 to 10 years. And uh, during that time, she can plan. She need not wait for him to resettle with her or anything. So the planning can continue. And there we do the simple procedure of IUI. Okay. Where the frozen sample is taken and put it back into our uterine cavity at the time of ovulation. So this is called frozen sample insemination. So this also gives equally good success rates. Science has grown so much. Yes, so freezing is a very good uh, advantage for patients today. Yeah.